So hello, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am Ara. So today we will be presenting our mini project and for this subject, Comsci 1 and 7 Machine Learning. And the project is entitled, Knowing What is in, Predicting the Next Popular Songs Using Machine Learning. So this project was uh, conducted by Rian de la Cruz, Michael Vincent Dosado, and Jose Fortaleza III, uh, BS Computer Science students from the College of Arts and Sciences of the University of the Philippines, Visayas, Miagao. So next uh, slide, please. So this, uh, so our presentation for today will be divided into four parts. So first is the introduction. Second is the methodology. Third is the results. And lastly is the conclusion. Next slide, please. Okay, so when music trends come and go, but when a song is that good, it'll stay in your brain forever. So how do we find good songs, you ask? If you're more of a decorator, what makes a good song these days? So this study focuses on how we can determine popular songs and if new songs can hit the charts or silently fade into that old cassette in your closet. And so next slide, please. So, that, so for the objectives, so the goal of the study is to determine popular songs based on its selected features. So what features has the most or least impact on song being popular? And can we, if we can predict if a song can be popular or not? So for the scope of the study, our study focused on the song popularity data set which was collected from Kaggle about a year ago. So for the relevance of the study, this study can improve song-related queries and potentially help music creators produce popular songs. So for the research objectives or research questions, we have four questions. So uh, to, list, to list them all, so first question is, what is the song's predictive popularity when based on its selected features? Second, what is the song's predicted popularity when based on danceability, loudness, and energy? Third, what is the song's predicted popularity when based on its instrumentalness and energy? And lastly, which factors between its selected features have the most or least impact on a song's popularity? So next slide, please. So the hypothesis for this study is to contribute to the existing research of predicting a song's popularity based on specific factors to be considered through various methods of pre-processing and machine learning algorithms. The result of the study will help to understand the impact of such factors on a song's rise of popularity, especially on songs composed by newer and or unpopular artists. It will be utilized as a guide to anticipate songs that will reach the top charts and can help aspiring singers or artists on the trends of song production. So the methodology we have for this study is, first we will do data pro, uh, pre-processing so first is uh, obviously we're gonna have to uh, read our data, and then uh, after reading, we will implement a correlation heat map and remove irrelevant features based on the results there. Uh, after that, we will be standardizing the data set, and we will move on to the next set, which is k-means clustering. Uh, k-means clustering is um, basically we cluster our data into specific points. So here we will be using elbow method to determine the K values of our multiple clusters, which are the cluster, the data set with all the features and cluster the data set with selected features. After that, uh, we will be using or testing various machine learning approaches. Uh, for that, we will run the new cluster data set on the following machine learning approaches, which are support, uh, support vector machines, K nearest neighbors, uh, logistic regression, random forest, decision tree, XG boost, and light grading boosting machines. After we have uh, test all the varying machine learning approaches, we will have to go to analyzation and evaluation, which uh, determines which machine learning approach is the most efficient to implement on our predictor, uh, prove why it the most efficient by comparing it to the other approaches, and then compile and produce their results.
So after training the data set in different models, the result shows that the SVM achieved the highest accuracy and recall values. However, for the um, precise, we have the logistic, logistic regression. Next slide, please. So this, uh, this is the visualization of the assessment of different machine learning algorithms. So next. Um, in here, it, it shows the confusion matrix for SPM. We have the um, positive predicted value of um, 0 0.99, while the negative predicted value is 1.0. Next, please. The, the algorithm also take a autofold AROC of 1.0. So here for, here, for instance, we have um, here a song with given features. So the result shows that the song is going to be popular. And if we're going to look at the features, it, it actually has higher danceability, loudness, and a low instrumentalness, which resulted to, to such um, result. Next. So in conclusion, um, with initial filter from K-means and having SVM to predict if a new song is popular, yield, yield an accuracy, precision, recall, and a use score of 0 0.99 for each. So from the K-means clustering, we can provide a set of songs for recommendation for music discovery in the given selection of features. As a whole, the result shows that this combination of K-means clustering and SVM can success successfully predict and suggest popular songs and can be used in other data sets, data sets, even though they explicitly say they are popular or not. So there are limitations, however, because can, uh, can be avoided because the nature of our data set isn't subjective to real time and other human factors. Next. So here are the reference, references we use in doing this mini project. So that's it for our presentation. Um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.